how much do you think this will be? Okay, I mean, it's very well made. Yeah. It looks very realistic. I don't know, like like $600 maybe? 600 man. Nah, nah. Tr- try try $2,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Whose video do you think will be uploaded first? Yours. Okay. After our conversation from a second ago, eight in the morning or something like yeah. that. Well, I'm in. I'm on East Coast time. So You're it's Central like nine time for me. But yeah, mine will probably be up at twelve. But now I kind of want to rush mine, mm. get mine up before you. So we'll see. This is this is a first for me. I mean, I was very very briefly on. Uh, Ethan Page's vlog yeah, for like yeah, yeah. five seconds. And now but, you're in the best vloggers vlog. So we got a camera over there. Camera over there. Got a camera over camera there. Over and of there. course, you know, my camera's right here. Three cameras. Yeah. yeah. Wow, a three camera shoot. Oh my God, very Man, millennial, like right? And we're yeah. in a hotel room. It's like we're shooting porn or something. Dude, I, if I could have brought my lights, it could have been really official. I think uh, we've, yeah. Uh, no? Nah? That's, that's a lot. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's we're trying a lot. To, yeah, no. Nah. I so I, I flew in here to Houston. I'm here for like 24 hours. The fact that you don't have an indie booking, no booking, and you had time to do this was awesome. So thank you. No problem, man. My my schedule is getting lighter and lighter. Next month, I think I only got like one or two bookings before TV. Is this good or bad? I mean, my body is good. I get to heal <laughs> up, but man, I'm watching all these other people do these crazy stuff. Oh yeah, I'm getting antsy. Yeah, you know, like so. everyone else is like, I want as many indie bookings up until October 1st. That's wild to me. Like all these guys still going crazy, still doing all this craziness. I'm like, yo, we have TV soon. Like y'all going to get hurt or? Yeah, yeah. Hats off to them. Yeah, I guess so. I, I've been doing this uh, like nine years and that's not, that's just professionally. Yeah. That's not, that's not counting like backyard stuff. And in my backyard, man, I used to do a lot of dumb stuff. So <laughs> I, I've taken more bumps than I should. So I, I was also a backyard wrestler. I feel so. like everybody was. Right. Yeah. If you're a wrestling fan, even if you didn't have a backyard wrestling league, mm-hmm. you probably were, you know. Did you have a name? Backyard wrestling league? Like what? Chris Sharp. Okay. Yeah. My company, company okay. was a wrestling gone extreme wgx and i was zero. Zero. because i'm ahead of number one wow yeah that's the only time though you've wrestled under a different name other than your own pretty much yeah, yeah. sammy Guevara always luckily always even at lucha underground got yeah. to keep my name that and that's very rare there mm-hmm. that was because that was all like super last minute stuff because i was signed with arrow lucha at the time and uh lucha underground didn't want me they were like Oh, well, we want first rights, blah, blah, blah. I was like, ah, damn. But I was still, like, hopeful in my mind. I'm like, it's still in two weeks. Maybe yeah. it'll happen. A night before they start taping or whatever, like, 10 p.m., they are like, can you be on a flight at 6 a.m. tomorrow? Wow. And it, so since it was super last minute, of course, I'm like, yeah, duh. Yeah. So I get on the flight. I get over there. And then uh, they're like, okay, so what do you want your name to be? I'm like, well, all my gear says Sammy Guevara. So <laughs> they're like, well, we guess you're Sammy Guevara. I'm like, cool. <laughs> So it just worked out. Uh, what are you doing if you're not taking a lot of indie bookings? What do you Man, do with your time? I mean, I do these vlogs. Yeah, of course. I have uh, my merchandise like you're wearing right here. Yes. SammyGuevara.com, baby. If you watch the vlog, you'll see why yeah, I'm wearing this. That's right. His other shirt, it, it looked horrible, but now <laughs> you're, on, you're, you're on fire right well, now. Well, you know, we're early on in the interview, so uh, I'll say this now. Uh, the link below for Sammy's vlog will be down below. I'll put it in the pinned comment, and you can subscribe to Sammy and see why he has... One of the best uh, wrestling vlogs online. That's right. Number one, uh, even if not everybody <laughs> realizes it yet, it's really number one. Uh, you put a lot of work. I into do. It. You do. Like right now, I got two cameras rolling. That's yeah. very extra, and they're not like just my phone. It's fucking fifteen hundred dollar camera over there. Yeah, you got a GoPro over here. I got a drone. Like I, I put in a lot of effort because like I may not have the name, like uh, a big name right yeah, now yeah. yet. That's right. Uh, but I was like, okay, I can still, I can still excel where other people are not and try to have the best quality content out there. Now, did you always have an interest in film or Mm -mm. creating content? No, like as I, as I've been wrestling, like, and then started making these videos, I actually fell in love with it. Like I love to edit them. So if I, even if I have a tough weekend ahead or like, or, or I just had a tough weekend, I'll be like, man, this weekend was awful. Like, oh, this, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to retire. And then I'll watch it back, edit it, and then I'll make some dope video, and I'll be like, you know, this this wasn't that bad. So it's kind of therapeutic in a way. But Ethan Page was saying the reason he started making vlogs is so that he would have something to show his kid ah. when she grew up. 
for you, is it just like, like what, what was the cat? What, what made you start this? Okay. So like, um, originally like a lot of promoters in the Texas scene, they would never give you your matches. Oh, and wow. so like, you know, or if they do, it takes a year. And I kind of understood in this social media age that you need content out there mm -hmm. for people to see you. Like you're not going to be seen just in your city yeah. being a local, local town hero. You know, you got to be seen all over the world. Yeah. So I was like, all right. So I started bringing my camera to shows and just getting anyone to record my match and I'd <laughs> upload that. So you'd like ask a random fan? Yeah, I've asked no. many <laughs> random fans, man. I've only had my camera stolen one time, and that wasn't even a fan. That was in Mexico. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, like uh, the, the airport security stole it. I put it in my bag, and then when I got my bag from the U.S. Customs, there was no camera in the bag. <laughs> yeah. But I have the best, in my opinion, I have really some of the best fans, the Panda fam, because uh, I put that in the video. And I was like, man, someone stole my camera. Not trying to get someone to send me a camera. I was just kind of telling what happened. I'm mm. like, man, someone stole my camera. This sucks, but it is what it is. And then someone contacted me. I was like, man, this sucks. And I, and I, know, I see you're trying to chase your dream. I want to not only get you a better, uh, not only get you a camera, but get you a better camera. Wow. And they got me like my first Canon, Canon T3i at the yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. So that was wild and if you watch my videos you'll see like i get gifts all the time and yeah stuff. You, your fans send you gifts all the time yeah it's amazing I, I have never received a gift ever man you got that youtube plaque though so yeah that's, youtube that's kind of sent a, me the plaque youtube but, ain't sent me nothing well not yet <laughs> i mean after all you know these people are going to subscribe now yes, guys please yeah they will um but i've i've never like i've never had anyone send me anything really what's the wildest thing you've been sent i got sent a bag of dicks like gummy bear dicks um uh, yeah <laughs> yeah i'm glad you clarified they were gummy bears yeah i was like let yeah. me let me fix this i ate them though um you know <laughs> okay yeah okay. yeah um uh, and uh were they good dude they're all right um what else like so that was probably the strangest yeah that's pretty coolest strange. was uh someone sent me a ps4 what yeah and like uh you, like how like so you know a lot of people are watching this how do i just say to people like hey everybody i just have a p.o box like and oh, so I, it's like you can send me whatever hate mail fan mail gifts yeah, yeah it's up to you and your wallet you know whatever you can do it's appreciated always i laugh at the like if i get hate mail it's shit's funny so send me whatever yeah well I, but how could someone hate on you Man, I don't know. That's the internet, man. Look at my comments. It's uh, there's a lot of hate out there, but I don't well, I care. guess maybe if they're like a really big Brandon Cutler mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fuck your best that guy. Friend, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, good for him, man. Uh, he's finally got two contracts. You know, I mean, if only I had best friends like that. Though. You know, <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> uh, I, I think everybody needs to know and wants to know about the panda. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, that, I know, I know. You've clarified it many before. times, many yeah. times. But it's okay. This but, is you know, got to clarify it here. here. Yeah. A lot of people watching right now. Uh, it's because I I kill pandas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's my favorite animal, favorite animal. Uh, and so I just kind of incorporate things that I like into my wrestling. Like my old theme song, "I Am Jesus," is from the, one of my favorite movies, which is "Get Him to the Greek." Mm. Yeah, yeah, so there, brand, yeah. yeah, there was a lot of fake songs or whatever they made for that movie, and "I Am Jesus" is one of them. And I was like, yo, I want this to be my theme song. Yeah. And so I'd come out to Triple Mania with that song. And yeah. So I, and like Dragon Ball Z, like I incorporate. This is a Majin Buu with Panda. Panda Panda Buu right there. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. 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 That was weird. Yeah. That was weird. I don't think mine really showed up like yours. For, any, for anybody who's listening to this in the podcast version, like, what are those guys doing right there? We're flexing. Yeah. You'll have to watch the video to see that. Yeah. So... You like pandas. You started mm -hmm. putting on your gear and mm -hmm. that's it? Everything. Everything I do, I try to incorporate a little piece of meat in what I do so it's all authentic. It's all really me. Have you actually ever held a panda? No. I want to get big, I want to get booked in Japan. Not Japan. Uh, China. I want to get booked in China just for that. <laughs> well, and, now you're putting it out into the world. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, OWE or whoever? I'm sure someone in China is watching this. I, I really want to hold a panda. If I can come out to a panda in the <laughs> ring one day, I'll retire the next day. Like, there's no getting, there's no better than that. Of all the animals in the animal kingdom, why mm -hmm. the panda? I mean, they're, they're chill, right? Like, mm -hmm. they eat bamboo, they're just chilling, but they're a bear. So you go mess with it, it's going to kill you. And I feel like that's me. I'm a chill dude, but, you know, get in the ring with me. I'm not a chill dude no more. Oh, you know? yeah. So, 
Well, koalas have those similar qualities. Nah. No? Nah. <laughs> nah. It's a panda. That's where it's at. Fair enough. Yeah. I, 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 I think that a lot of people, like, for the first time saw you at Double or Nothing. Mm -hmm. And they were like, what's going on here? Yeah. It wasn't really explained. Nope. 100% not. <laughs> I think one of the commentators said I went to the zoo and killed a panda. I think that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Well. But what really happened was... Uh, it was like two weeks before it and i was like man i need something different like i don't want to just come out just as this unknown guy like yeah i'm gonna do a bunch of cool shit when i get in the ring but everybody's gonna do cool stuff when they get in the ring it's like i need something different yeah and so it popped into my head like two weeks before and i'm like oh man it'd be so cool to come out wearing the panda and uh so i like went online i found this lady who custom makes it all but bro Bro, how much you think that thing costs? Okay, bring bring it out here because okay. I know you got it okay. here. Okay, hold okay, it. I hold it. Okay. I'll, I'll double fist with the mics here there for a second. Go. All right. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, I get to wear it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Okay. Boom, wow. Boom. Okay, but I gotta stick the tongue out, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. So looking at that man, looking that's at pretty that. badass. It's got, wow. It's got the fangs, all that. This is great. <laughs> yeah. How do you travel with this thing? Honestly, I was, I've only really brought it with me, I think, just to double or nothing. I haven't well, you're going to be bringing it every now, week. <laughs> maybe. Because uh, I was so scared of breaking. I was like, I need to just wear it once and not break it. I was scared I was going to break these teeth off. Oh, so I took everything out of my backpack and just brought it as a carry-on. Okay, was... hold it. Hold it for a second so okay. we can look at it. Okay. Although it's very cool. Man. Okay. So... You had this custom made. First of all, what do you made. Google to have someone make this? Like a uh, bear head or something like <laughs> bear mask. I don't know what I, I found a lot of bears. See, that's what I, I found, like grizzly bear ones sure, like this. Yeah. But never, I didn't find no panda bear. And I was like, let me contact the lady that makes the grizzly bear one, see if she can make a panda bear one. And she's like, sure, no problem. Yeah, but the problem was is because I gave her two weeks notice. I was like, I need to wear it by this day. Okay. Yeah, so how much do you think this would be? Okay, I mean, it's very well made. Yeah, it looks very realistic. I don't know, like, like six hundred dollars maybe. Six hundred, man. Nah, nah. Tr try, try two thousand dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Was it worth it? I mean, people are still talking about. It. I got a shirt made of it now. Yeah. I mean, it's your promo picture. Exactly. Yeah. People are still talking about it. It's I, shedding everywhere. Yeah, I was supposed to bring the brush. I didn't. <laughs> there's a brush for yeah, the panda. There's like a specific little brush for wow, it. Wow, it looks bad. Like it looks mean. Like mm -hmm. the eyes are like. Yeah, we'll you put, put it, it on for a second. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll hold this. Because I, I can't be the only one wearing it. Okay. Man, you should just wear it for the rest of the interview. Okay, you can do that. No, you. Me? Yeah, you, not me. Uh, yeah, something like that. It looks way better on you. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to deny that, <laughs> but yeah. Well, I mean, you're the best ever. That's, that's me. Yeah. Have you yeah. always been the best ever? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I got a lot of heat in my uh, early days. I'm yeah, I stuff. bet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, probably still getting heat. Oh, always. But like, it was really bad. Oh, oh yeah. We broke, broke your hat broke here. Broke my hat, man. Jeez. I wear this thing everywhere. But uh, yeah, no, like from day one, when I walked in, I was always like, I'm the best ever. You know, because in wrestling, you can be whatever you want. And yeah. I, I'm like, I don't want to be a clown. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a USA guy. Because that was what someone pitched for me. They're like, you need to be USA guy. I'm like, that's so corny. I'm just going to be me. Also, that gimmick's been done. A billion yeah, times. So yeah. Not that the best ever really hasn't, but I don't feel like nobody does it like me. And so, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm just, I'm just the best. And even if I wasn't, I honestly believe I was. When people say, well, why are you the best? Man, like, here's the thing. No one can talk like me. No one can do what I do in the ring like me. I can pretty much do it all. Like, I could do your job if I wanted. I could do it all. Wow. I could do JR's job if I wanted. Wow. Yeah, I like, I'm just saying, anything I put my mind to, I feel like I'm going to be the best at it. So, like, these vlogs, for instance, right? I was like, man, I, I may not have the most subs, but I'm going to have the best quality out there and i feel like right now i do you really do yeah see yeah. and you're saying that i'm i'm just reaff reaffirming that but uh if that's the right <laughs> wording man uh <laughs> but is that the right word i don't know I, I'm, and i also can't tell if this is a gimmick or not it's really not 
Um, like I, I, I firmly believe that any human is capable of accomplishing anything. Yeah. Like I, I'm a firm believer in that. Like I think that bigger, faster, stronger are things that you can't really work on. Mm -hmm. But mindset, something like you can, if you want to set out to do something, you absolutely can, and you're living proof of that. Hundred percent, man. I, <clears throat> and like that's another thing. I, I would just put it out there. Even if, even if I really wasn't the best. I was like, I'm going to just put it out there and keep working towards it till I become the best. And I feel like I'm one of the best. And then uh, October 2nd, when I face Cody on mm -hmm. TNT, I'm going to prove it. I always say uh, vague goals get vague results. Yeah, I like that. So, you know, what kind of specific goals do you have within the wrestling world? Wrestling world, uh, I'm going to become a world champion, that's for sure. That's a nice little belt AEW has right now. Yeah. So I, I plan on getting that. Uh, just being the man, you know. I know that's, that sounds vague, but <laughs> being free, basically, that's what I want, is more than everything, I want to get just so big, I can just do whatever I want. Well, I mean, you kind of have that freedom now, don't you? I, I mean, I'm doing whatever I want, make no mistake, but I still got to answer to some bosses. Sure. My goal is to become the world champ, grow so big, I'm my own boss. Yeah. Is there someone in the wrestling world who you look up to? Um... Growing up, it was Rey Mysterio, and I got to wrestle him two times. That's awesome. Yeah, so for me, because growing up, everyone was like, you can't do this. You can't do this. Like, you're too small. And then, like, so when I started watching wrestling, it was like 2005 or six or whatever. And then 10 years later, in uh, 2016, I wrestled Rey Mysterio. And, like, so I was like, no one can tell me anything anymore. Yeah. You know, like, I just proved I wrestled the dude, my idol, basically, yeah. Rey. And uh, so... I feel like there's nothing nobody can't do. If you told me you wanted to be a world champion, as even if I'm like that, like, good luck, buddy. I can't, I can't tell you can't because anything's possible. I, I firmly believe mm -hmm. that anything is possible. Yeah. You're also making a lot of firsts in AEW. That's right. First ever singles match. Yeah. First ever announced television match. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, when did you find out about that one? When you guys all found out. No way. Are <laughs> yeah. you serious? Yeah. I know Cody it. didn't reach out to you and go, hey, man, it's going to be me and you. Honestly, I don't think he did. Uh, I don't think so. But I, I, that's cool. He, you know, that's one thing about me. I don't want to know anything ahead of time because then I'm just going to end up saying it. I like being surprised as everybody else. Yeah. So when I woke up in the morning and saw that, uh, I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild um, to be the first AEW one-on-one match. Now the first one on TV. Like, phew. Yeah. Like, but, am I dreaming? Like, pinch me, you know I'll what I'm saying? You. Yeah, there yeah, yeah. Like, uh, wow, it's like touching a rock. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, I, I think, unfortunately, though, and, you know, with great respect to you, I think a lot of people are writing you off in that match with Cody. But it's fine because uh, my whole career, that's what it's been. At Double or Nothing, they were writing me and Kip off. They're like, who the fuck? Who are these guys? And uh, I felt like I definitely showed out that night. I, I didn't get the W. You but, guys both showed out yeah. so much that I think people went, oh, I think I need to buy this thing now. Yeah. Which was so great because you guys ended the buy-in mm -hmm. and the people went, okay. Yeah. If it's going to be like that the whole show. But see, the thing is, is, is you really got the real main event right there. So if you bought the, the rest of the show, I mean, you, <laughs> I mean, it's cool you bought it, you support AEW, but if you're looking for something better, you're wasting your money because there ain't nothing better than Sammy Guevara. So if you look at, uh, if you want to be a world champion in AEW, mm -hmm. who do you think you would rather face, Hangman or Jericho? Man, I mean, that's a good question. That's what we try to do here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the little kid me is going to pick Jericho, of course. You know, I grew up watching him. He says he's like the best in the world or whatever it is, and I'm the best ever, so... There's money right there, but if it's Hangman, I don't care. I don't care who it is, really. Uh, they're just some. They're just a body. Sammy Guevara is the name, and so it could be anybody holding this strap. It's just a body in the way, and it's got to get got. So you got the best ever. You got the best there is, the best there was, the best ever will be. Yeah, yeah, you some the, guy. You got the best in the world at what I do. Yeah. And then you got the best in the world. Mm-hmm. So what makes you different from, we just named Bret Hart, we named Chris Jericho, and we named... Oh, Sam is Hart. that their names? Was, That's their names. I was confused. <laughs> um, what makes me different? You can, there can't be four best is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So this is, I'm glad you said that because this goes to this point that I wanted to make is there's a lot of guys that claim that they're the best. There's a lot of guys that, uh, 
that say they're, they're one of the best wrestlers in the world or they're the best talkers and they and but i don't think they actually believe the words they say i think mm. they're faking it you know i think they're they're really trying to put it out there as if they are that but they're not and that's the difference is they're playing a guy trying to be the best ever mm. i am the best ever mm. and that's the difference and at 26 years old you're the best ever and you're only going to get better is what you're thinking that's right Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, I still can't tell if this is gimmick. It's or not. really not, man. I'm a really chill guy, but th that's one f uh, flack I get is because uh, in the ring, I guess people are like, "You're such a bad guy," and then in your vlogs, you're such a baby face, <laughs> and it's like, man, take it for like UFC, for instance. Yeah. DC. Sure. Right. He just got knocked out by your buddy. He did. Yeah. Yeah, but before yeah, that, was he was a monster, right? He was he was killing him in some rounds, and and it's like, what does he do after the fight though? He's an analyst. He's a commentator. Yeah. He's not that monster no more, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's almost no different. When I'm in the ring, it's all business. Mm -hmm. I'm the best. And wh whoever's in front of me, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm going to outperform you. I'm going to outwork you. But out of the ring, hey, man, we don't talk business. We can be chill. Yeah. That's why I, I, these vlogs, they're out of the ring. You put me in the ring, it's a completely different story. Oh. Yeah. But you grew up here in Houston. Houston. Trained by Booker T. Yeah, I was there for a little bit. Uh, who do you think is the best wrestler to come out of Texas? So obviously, some great wrestlers that come out of Texas. Yeah, wouldn't it be Shawn Michaels? It, well, yeah, he it came from San Antonio. Steve Austin. Man, but San, he's from San Antonio, right? Shawn? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to go with Shawn for okay. sure. All right. But that's then, you know? <laughs> that's then. But right. at the end of it, it'll be me. What could, I mean, you could say it's you now. Okay. Man. Yeah. There we go. He he said it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you you only train with Booker T for a little bit? Only a little bit. Uh, one of Booker T's things he always says is he gives you the tools, but it's up to you to use them. And so I was there. I kind of saw things like a lot of guys are stuck in their ways, and that's not a shot at anybody there. I love everybody there, but it, it's like I don't want to be the king of my area. I want to be the king of the world. And so I was like, I need to get out of here and try to put these tools into use. And uh, I started traveling the world. So is Booker T actually in there week in, week out? This is a long time ago. This is like nine years ago. Yeah. So he was there quite a few times. Okay. But uh, I don't know how it is now. I'm sure he's there m more now because he's not on TV as much. So I cannot answer that for you really. <laughs> for now. Then he was in a few times. Well, okay. Yeah. Were there things that he specifically taught you that you still use in the ring now? Man, there's one thing that I'll remember always. Okay. So before I had my first match, he calls me into his office and he's like, hey, hey, kid, you ready for your first match? And I have no idea. And you were like 18? 17. Wow. Yeah. And, I, and this, I've only been training for like three months at the time, so I'm one of the <laughs> fastest guys to have a match. Wow, yeah. And uh, he was like, you know, you ready? Uh, maybe I wasn't ready, honestly. Uh, but <laughs> I'm, I always believe that you never say no to, uh, to an opportunity. And so I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm ready. Even though inside I'm like, I don't fucking know. Um, but he told me, he's like, look, just know the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to go out there and mess up. That's the abs if that's the worst thing that's going to happen to you today, yeah. life's going to be okay. Yeah. And so I kind of keep that mindset in any opportunity I get. I'm like, okay, this could go horribly. Like a double or nothing. You know, what if I would have missed that shooting star off the apron? <laughs> Woo, that would have sucked, but life would have gone on. That was filthy, by the way. It was so far, bro. Oh, my God. I was up there, and I was like, I don't know if I can make this. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I saw you go up there, and I'm like, what is, what are you, what's he going to do? Yeah. The commentator, he's like, oh, I thought he was going to drop a leg drop. Yes. I'm like, nah, bro. No. That's the past. That's the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was something else. But that's the Booker T's advice there. The worst thing that can happen is you mess up. Mm -hmm. That's a great piece of advice for life. Oh, and I take it even further. Like, sometimes I'll be really nervous before matches, even if I don't show it. I'll, so I'll go outside. And most time shows are at night. And I'll just look at the stars and stuff, and I'll be like, man, we're so tiny on Earth. Wow. Like, yeah. we're so tiny in the universe, yeah. let alone the Earth, let alone the, whatever city we're in. Someone across the street probably has no idea there's wrestling going on right now. Like, this moment, if even though I'm freaking out about it, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. And so it kind of calms me down. But it's, you know, it's interesting, though, how these little things in our life can feel like such big, yeah. big things. Like, you know, you're obviously super excited and probably feeling all, like, feeling all kinds of emotions for October 2nd. Yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be there October 2nd. Hell I'm yeah, feeling man. all kinds of emotions. I'm pumped. Yeah. 
Nah, I mean, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, I want to get the W, though. That's one thing. You know, I think a lot of people, like you said, are counting me out in that match. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm going to give it all. I mean, up until right now, I mean, who knows what's going to happen at all out with Sean Spears and Cody. But Cody's undefeated. Yeah, that's true. So, man. And I, wins and losses matter. That's right. Wins and losses yeah. matter. And I lost the first match ever. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Who said that? Me? Oh, okay. Do you feel like with doing the vlog, with getting your stuff out there to a larger audience on YouTube, it's helped you get more bookings? For sure. Really? Yeah. I, I was always thinking, I'm like, man, is this going to end up hurting me? Because, you know, of the fact that people are like, he's a bad guy, but he's such a nice guy on the thing. Uh, so I was kind of like, oh, man, is it going to end up hurting me? But I think it really helped me because, you know, I'm promoting these other shows i'm yeah, showing yeah. like hey if people are buying merch i'm showing other wrestlers who might watch like hey this is a place you want to go to because they're going to buy your merch so it's like both sides fans it's like oh this is a killer show and then f uh wrestlers it's like oh people buy shit and so and people want to be part of the vlog too? Yeah, yeah that that's definitely helped it's helped me so much like uh even whenever like i i was working like a part-time job and then had wrestling on the side like i had a i still have it on there maybe i should take it off i don't know on my website it's like a, a support button so people could just give me money you know and so i made that kind of a bit in my vlogs like so people would give me like hundreds of dollars and it it helped big time like paying bills and stuff like help paying my rent wow and it, it's like it w i wouldn't have got this extra money if i wasn't doing these videos yeah i, I feel like even though I might have more subscribers than you, yeah. even though I might have that YouTube plaque. And you do, and you do. I do. Uh, I feel like, and hopefully your uh, video helps me get more subscribers. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm this, sure I'll help you get a few. There's this crazy thing where people will watch these videos mm -hmm. and then not subscribe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the wildest thing. I'm not going to call her out right now, but even for like Instagram, for, for instance, I know a person that will just scroll and like, a, like not actually like it, but they'll like laugh at a post and they'll just scroll through. I'm like, they're doing yeah. this for likes. Like, yes. you, come on. <laughs> you got to support. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like even though I might have more subscribers, I feel like you are more of a YouTuber yeah. than I am. Yeah. Yeah. You I mean like you're, you're in, you're like, you're in there. Your, your videos are edited extremely well. Mm -hmm. I've just got this little thing that pops up down there <laughs> when we ask people to subscribe. I mean, that's yeah. a little sound go effect. Su go subscribe to him But that's right the only, now. like, real effect I have. Right. You're putting in all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you know, adding memes, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I just have fun with it, really. Um, putting those memes in, have you had any copyright problems? Oh, uh, all the time. My last Why do you still do it? Fuck it. <laughs> no. I'm not doing it for money, though. Like, if I get money, that's cool. But I'm really just trying to, like, the another reason why I did this is just to help tell my story and then hopefully inspire someone else to go chase their dream whatever it is because i'm chasing mine and i want to show people and i want to show the kids that are like me that t people told them they couldn't do it i want to show them that hey i'm doing it so can you in this process of chasing your dream who was it that reached out to you about aew mm, man i don't know if i'm allowed to say this okay, okay. so if you can that's yeah, all right. yeah. Uh, but then like was it did they call you did they text okay. you? okay yeah so i was in japan i okay. can tell you that story without okay. telling you his sure. name so the press conference happened right and i saw the people that were there and i was like damn i feel like they're gonna reach out to me i feel like it but, but they hadn't at all they, had, they hadn't yet okay. i had one conversation with one of the members okay. of the upper tier guys yeah, yeah. at a show and he asked me what i was doing mid-january and i was like oh i'm gonna be in japan <clears throat> Mid January is the first press conference. This was back in like October okay. before that. Yeah. And so I think he was going to uh, ask me to be there, but I was in Japan. So then we just dropped it and we started talking about something else. I didn't think about it till later. Mm. So I'm in Japan and I, that happens. I go to sleep. I wake up in the morning and I get a DM on Twitter and it's like, what's your contract status like? Wow. And I'm like, so like I'm barely waking up. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like one of those moments where it's like, yo, this is really happening right now. Yeah. And I was independent at the time. So uh, I was like, I'm, I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it's like we're talking back and forth. And it's those moments where you're like waiting for the response and you're like, oh, shit, it's really happened. But is it really happening? I'm waiting. And it's kind of like these nerves. It's like. And sometimes those responses to get them back take a long take time. Take a long time. That's what I'm saying. So I'm I just know. in the hotel room like, I can't go back to sleep now. Yes. Fuck. It's like, fucking five in the morning. <laughs> yeah. What's so interesting about the, you know, the, the excitement around AEW and everything that's been going on with it is 
this only was launched on January 1st. Yeah. Then the press conference was a few weeks later. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the excitement ramped up, like, instantly. Yeah. So, like, for you, from the outside looking in and then now being part of it, you know, where's your excitement at? Uh, it's all exciting. You know, this seems like it's a new era in wrestling. Like, this is about to be something huge. And that's what's weird when it was first starting off and people were like, ah, we'll see how they do. It was weird for me on the outside because I'm like, don't y'all see this is going to be huge? Well, I, but I think, you know, uh, to play devil's advocate right. here, we've seen other companies come in. You know, from a fan's perspective, Impact, you know, tried to go head to head. Right. Impact also had a national TV deal or, yeah. when they were TNA. Uh, Lucha Underground, very exciting to watch. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, they weren't uh, going head to head or anything. Right, right. Uh, Wrestling Society X back in the day. Like, yeah. there's been other companies. But for to Devil's Advocate on the other side again. Sure, please. It's like, but you have some of the top wrestlers in the world backing this company up. Yeah, no, I know. Some of the most popular, like the Young Bucks themselves, mm -hmm. transcend so much. They're in freaking Hot Topic, all this. They got Funko Pops. So they're a part of it. Cody's a part of it. Oh, Kenny's yeah. a part of it. All these guys are a part of it. It's kind of wild. It's like, this is going to be huge. By no I, means am I saying it's not. Nah, fire him right now, Tony. <laughs> if you're watching, Tony, nah, I'm no. just kidding. <laughs> Tony, don't fire him. And don't fire me neither. <laughs> no, it's just that like this ramped up so quickly. Yeah. And now all eyes are on October 2nd. Because yeah. maybe there have been people that haven't paid for the pay-per-views. Mm -hmm. Maybe there have been people that have just seen some clips on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. Right. October 2nd, it's going to be in a lot of households across America. Yeah, the Wednesday Night Wars. That's what started. That's right. That's wild, man. Uh, it's, it's, all, it's all exciting. I'm that, just... that came out of nowhere, the Wednesday Night Wars. <laughs> right. That made me laugh so much. I'm like, because at Double or Nothing, when Moxley came down and started beating everybody up, maybe it was when he was standing on the chip and it was over with, uh, I was standing next to Kylie Ray, and we're just watching it, and I'm like, isn't this crazy? Like we're a part of this. Yeah. And then she's like, yeah, this is fucking nuts. And it's like, it, I don't know, man, to be a fan and say, I wanted to do this and to be doing it. And then to now be in one of the biggest companies right now. And they're about to go head to head with freaking, you know, WWE and XT, whatever. It's wild. Yeah. It's wild. Another example for nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. That's right. Well, Speaking of nothing's impossible, what was it that made you take that first step? You wanted to be a wrestler. You loved watching yeah. wrestling. But it takes a lot to actually step into a wrestling school and go, all right, I'm going to do it. Oh, it was never even a question. Like, as soon as I saw it on TV, I'm like, that's what I'm doing. I'm older. And I didn't care about school or nothing. I was always getting in trouble because I was falling asleep in class. And I'd get ISS and detentions. And they'd be like, what are you going to do when you grow up? I'm like, I'm going to be a pro wrestler. And they're like, and at the time, I had super long hair, super skinny, not like I am now. Uh, <laughs> Um, and so you, you know, saw this shot here and saw that the pan is just oh, like yeah, half yeah, in the yeah, shot here. Yeah, oh, yeah, there we, yeah there perfect, go. perfect. Uh, uh, it's not gonna work, bro. Two thousand oh, dollars no. is falling. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, it almost broke. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna move yeah, it, dude. I don't know. Safe. Um, yeah, so I was just like, I'm uh, this is what I'm gonna do. And people tried to get me to understand how impossible it is. If people would have maybe got me to understand how painful it is, maybe I would have changed my mind. What do, is it? Is it the first time you bumped? Not even like I don't know if you can see. I have this scar oh in the back of my head. Which one? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck you! Look, if I can show the camera. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we can see. Bunch of scars yeah, yeah. In the back of my head. Oh, uh, the big long one happened yeah. in Mexico. Uh, just I hit the the ring post. Mm. Like uh, I was sitting in the corner, hit the ring post, sliced it open, and. Uh, the doc came and he and the match is still going on and it's towards the the finish and the doc's like hey it's really deep Sammy you need to come on and I, like I see like oh where I'm gonna come in and whatever and so I, I'm like fuck you and I slide in I super kick shooting star one two three <laughs> and then I go to the back and then he's like you're gonna need stitches and I'm like nah just tape it up man I don't want stitches <laughs> he puts his finger like maybe that much in my head oh. and then uh he's he takes a picture he's, he's like this is my finger man it's in your skull God. i can see your skull I'm touching your brain yeah and i'm like <laughs> i can oh. see your skull yeah that's what he said man oh and i'm like God. oh shit stitch it up stitch it up <laughs> but you know were this, you not worried like i'm in mexico maybe i don't want to get any treatment yeah here. that that's what it was i yeah. was like man i don't know if this is sanitary we're literally backstage yeah. i don't know uh, luckily, shit, I'm still here. Or this is all you a dream. You just have a, quite and, the scar on the back here. Yeah, unfortunately. I was pissed. At least it's not the front, you know? Yeah. At least it's the back. 
Is, is there something in wrestling that hurts way more than we would assume it hurts? <sighs> or when a guy's like, we're going to do this spot, you're like, oh, dude. Oh, that's me to. everything. <laughs> like, so people will be surprised because they see me do all this crazy stuff in the ring. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, but wait, why is he bitching about the bumps or whatever? It's like, I'll do it all because I'm crazy. But, man, I could also just not. And we could just, like, work the crowd, you know? <laughs> um, chops suck most of the time. <laughs> What else? Oh, man, there's so much. There's. Uh, I remember the first time I was taking Mike Bailey. You know Mike Bailey or yeah. no? He gave me like the shooting star knees to the back. Uh huh. I thought those were gonna suck. So those weren't so bad. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm kind of killing this thing. They suck so bad. <laughs> no, there's a. So I, I would say the things that look really badly most of the time aren't so bad. But the things that look like oh, what was that? Those most of the time hurt the most. I'm I'm always every time someone does a high risk maneuver like off the top rope, you always land them so flawlessly. <laughs> you know, of course. <laughs> but I'm always like like if you rotate just a little bit too much, yeah, or not enough, and we've seen it happen before. Mm-hmm. You know, like someone gets knees to the face or something. <laughs> oh man, you're bringing back PWG <laughs> memories. <laughs> Poor Phoenix, Ray Phoenix. I did a six thirty and landed on his knee. Oh, that was so awful. Um, accidents happen, you know. Of course. My defense, he did kick me literally in the air. Like he super kicked me and my body went off the air. So I could have been concussed and I'm not really seeing my equilibrium, whatever that's called, is off. <laughs> equilibrium? There we go. <laughs> Dude, you got to save me, man. Can, you got to edit Do you that. speak Spanish? See, si. Like you're, you're fluent? I don't speak Spanish. Really? No. Nah. <laughs> I just assume, you know. You With look- Guevara, man. Yeah. Some people are going to be pissed off at me. I'm half Cuban, no Spanish. But you were born here. Yeah, my yeah. dad was from Cuba, and I've been going to Mexico for seven years, yeah. but no Spanish. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's because my parents are divorced, okay. so my, I didn't grow up with my dad, so I, that's why I never learned it. I grew up with my mom, who's white, so <laughs> that's always my op-out my op uh, or cop-out. I'm like, no, nah, look, it's because my dad's not around. <laughs> like, that's what it was. <laughs> But you do it. You do a good uh, accent, though. Yeah. You know, I try, brother. <laughs> oh fuck, my career's over now. <laughs> He's uh, what? What is it called? Uh, I'm stealing the culture vulture like what is it called oh uh cultural appropriation yeah, oh yeah. no he's yeah, appropriating that's, that's a big that's a big phrase oh, dude, thank God how much did it. things change for you when you did brandon rogers youtube channel oh yeah that's so many boy. people wanted to ask about that yeah brandon rogers man that was so wild too because i just was watching his videos for a long time and then i saw he had a facebook but not like one that you can't message him it was like a normal one so i was like oh i'll message him and I sent him my like highlight video. I'm like, hey man, we can make a cool video. Wow. He contacted me the same day with and he's like, here's my number, call me. Wow. Yeah. And that was like in July 2016. And he's like, hey, we can do it this weekend or whatever. I'm like, oh shit. And you guys went down to Muscle Beach, Venice but Beach. But look, that happened. Did and he fly you in? No, no, no. Look, so we were planning on doing it, but then something happened. He's a busy guy. I'm booked. And so we didn't end up doing it for like eight more months. So it was like February 2017. You're like, this is never going to happen. Yeah, I was like, ah, this guy's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got my hopes up. Um, and then I'm going there to L.A. to wrestle. And I was like, well, he lives in L.A. Let me contact him and see if he wants to make this happen. And he's like, can you stay for a couple extra days? I'm like, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And, uh, yeah, we did it. Went to Muscle Beach, like you were saying. We got kicked out of Muscle Beach. <laughs> yeah, uh, they don't like people filming there. Yeah, cause, and it, we came at the worst time because there was people taking pictures for, like, a magazine, like oh. a big magazine. And they're like, these guys paid us $10,000 to be here. And y'all aren't paying us, so get your camera out of here. Yeah, yeah it was whack. But, um, yeah. Did you have the vlog at the time? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because you made a vlog about it. Right, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. that's right. Um. See, and so, like, afterwards, yeah, uh, to this day, I still get comments. Like, I'm sure. Literally, last night, I showed my girlfriend, I'm like, look, and it was like uh, two minutes uh, two minutes ago, I came here from Brandon Rogers. So, oh, and someone stopped me at the mall, like, just a couple weeks ago, which was ridiculous, because I'm walking past this guy, this guy's staring at me, and I'm like, what the fuck is this guy staring at? Like, do you want to fight? Like, what the fuck? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm walking, have my headphones in, and then he, like, all of a sudden says, Sammy, Sammy, like yelling. And, uh, was he trying to suck the life force out of you? Dude, maybe. <laughs> I get a lot of those comments yeah. too. Should He lost all, oh, he should have <laughs> sucked the life force out. But he, then he runs and he's like, Hey, you're Sammy Guevara. I'm like, Yeah. And that, but I always ask this question because I'm never sure where people know me from. Is it YouTube? Is it wrestling? Mm-hmm. Is it Brandon Rogers? So I'm like, Where do you know me from? And he's like, 
you did a Brandon Rogers video. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's one of his like top 20 videos. Yeah, it's got like maybe top 15. Almost 10 million views right now. So that, okay. So, you know, if people are saying, if there's comments in your videos came here from Brandon Rogers, yeah. people can leave comments on your vlogs saying, I came here from CVV. For sure. Go yeah. do that. I want to see how many people and I got. And let me know. Let, yeah. And let Sammy know. I'm going to try to get this vlog that I'm making right now up around the same time you make that so you can comment on the newest video. So as soon as you're done watching this, yeah. you can watch the vlog, which uh, will be linked up below, where you can subscribe as well. That's right. You can also subscribe to oh me down God. there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, I'll, I'll put it. Oh, my God. There it Whoa. is again. Wow. Wowzers. But the noise and everything. Wow, that's man. Crazy. That's That's some good editing right there. Yeah. I think one of the other big things people always talk about is, uh, I didn't see it, but I heard it was really good. <laughs> yeah, bro. And, and like my last video, that was ridiculous. So many people are like, I didn't see this vlog, but I heard it. Good stuff. I'm like, I, I didn't think that was going to catch on at all. But that is kind of a phrase backstage. Yeah, that's what happens. Because like a lot of times we're busy, you know, doing, dealing with our match. And then some guy will be like, hey, did you watch my match? And it's like, Nah, man, I was busy doing this, but if you heard the crowd, and sometimes the crowd's reacting really crazy, it's like, I didn't watch it, but I heard it. Sounded cool. Like, <laughs> I'm sure it was good, The crowd or the crowd's just really drunk right now and doesn't know what's going on. It is tough, though, at indie shows to, like, have a bunch of guys peeking through the curtain. Yeah. Without, like, drawing attention away from the match. Oh, it's so bad, because sometimes, like, at AAA or these big shows uh, with these big arenas, I'll go and I'll just walk out. Cause I want to get these arena shots with right. for, with all the people and yeah. I'm like, and so sometimes people recognize me and they're like, Hey, send me a picture. I'm like, I can't, I want to take a picture of you, but I can't cause like, then what a dick. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, no, if you, if I take a picture of you, the next person, then yeah, it's going to yeah. be this mob of people when they should be paying attention to the ring. And it's so it's funny. Uh, at, at double or nothing, I did that. I went to the top and some people noticed me and stuff. I went to the top to get the arena shot. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be able to keep flogging? uh yeah i don't see why i couldn't so people ask me this a lot they're like is the vlog gonna stop when aew goes to tv i don't see why it'd stop it's really just another avenue to promote aew and like to show more people you know i don't know but they might go well don't don't show this yeah or... it, like it may change a little bit Maybe. i may not be able to like uh i don't know I, I feel like i'm pretty good with it as it is like i don't really break uh the kayfabe as it's called or whatever there's a couple times like on your last video when you like you put the camera on one guy he's like what are you doing man yeah oh i love doing that <laughs> shit sometimes i just put the camera on people and then i'll ask them afterwards because i'm like ah, not everybody wants to be recorded i'm pretty respectful when it comes to all that in mexico it's a pain because a lot of guys wear masks and so it's like i gotta really watch what i'm oh, recording sure because sure. if i'm recording here and some dude's not wearing his mask behind me they're gonna be pissed off do you have goals for the YouTube channel? Hell yeah, 100,000. Okay. Yeah, we're at 28,000 right now, so we got a ways to go. I think we can we can maybe help you out there. Yeah, that'd be... Hey, whoa, is that another thing? What? Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Is that just more work I just added for you? Yeah. We'll just... Gonna, I have to look, look at all these time codes. Yeah. Okay, this one's... A, okay, all right. You're like writing it down. Like, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, 100, 100K? 100K. Do you have a time of when you'd like to accomplish that? Uh... Less than a year. Like, okay. Yeah. So, so like, I think that's very doable if you did it by next August. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, to put things in perspective for you, my YouTube channel started in 2011. Oh, shit. I got my, I got the 100K last August. Ooh. Okay. And so you're, took, you're at 200 now, right? And I, I'm about to be 200. Okay. So if it took seven and a half years right. to get 100 and then another year to get the next 100. That's good. So I think that, you know, what do they say in like uh, business? The first millions, the yeah, hardest, it's the hardest. And then, yeah, I don't know the actual saying. I don't know. <laughs> but I know, I know what you're saying. I like it was confident. I'm like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, for sure. Oh, fuck, what yeah, was it? That's, that's, to that's the thing that's that people that thing. say. Yeah. yeah, I heard that. I didn't see what you were talking about, though. <laughs> um, yeah, nah, less than a year. I want to hit 100K and then we're aiming for the million. Really, I want to surpass uh, being the elite. That's mm. what my whole goal is. Wow. It's it's going to be a tough task because, like, you know, it's just me. Like, I'm the main guy uh, in my vlog. It's not like I got, like, five people in it. So it's really like I'm trying to convince people but you could, to invest I mean, in me. But you're going to be seeing the same people every Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can start to build something with mm -hmm. that. You know, if you need, like, a guy who holds microphones. Oh, snap, dude. You know. 
There you go, Chris Van Vliet. Hey, what's Open up? the mic backstage. Tony Khan. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Khan could be a character on your vlog. I don't think he wants to be. <laughs> yeah, he, he really wants, and I actually really respect that about yeah, Tony. Yeah, no. He wants to be behind the scenes. Right, that's wild. Because like, I asked him that when I interviewed him. I said, everybody else who's ever had a role like yours mm -hmm. in the wrestling world is on camera at some point. He's right. like, no, no. We have the best talent in the world. We hire them because they're the best talent. Yeah. I'll do everything behind the scenes. That's really cool. That means like he's not like this egomaniac guy. He's like, I need to be seen. I need to be seen. This is also one of like, what, three or four jobs that he has. Right, exactly. Also crazy. Wild stuff. He's such a cool guy, which I remember the first time I talked to him, I was just surprised. I was like, oh, he's like a just a normal dude yeah. pretty much. And he's a freaking billionaire. And he's so down to earth. Yeah. He's also like... um I, I, I feel like a real compassion from him. Like when you talk to him, he's like genuinely interested yeah. in what you have to say. That's what always like, I'm like, man, he's, he's either a really good worker or he's just a really genuine person, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's never worked a match. So that's right. That's right. But Hey, there's a lot of, there's a lot of workers backstage who never worked, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, no, he seems like a super cool dude. And so I remember when I was talking to him, I was like, man, this guy's a billionaire and I'm former Whataburger employee. <laughs> like, what is this? So you, do you like Whataburger better than In-N-Out Burger? Oh, hell yeah. I, I guess I, Get out of here, In-N-Out. You're from Texas, so I guess yeah. that's the answer. I don't eat Whataburger no more, neither. I used to eat that every day, and now I'm like, it's all trash. It, but there is, like, that's a real thing. Like People were talking about this you know, Chick-fil-A yeah. and, uh, and uh, Popeye's thing. Yeah. Whataburger and In-N-Out is a huge... But to go to the Chick-fil-A and Popeye's thing, I'm like... Oh, cool. This is, has a better chicken sandwich. This has a better chicken sandwich. It's all freaking fast food. It's yeah. all garbage, man. Yeah. You, like, you're giving you this freaking, you're killing yourselves. Well, what, what, I mean, when you have to eat on the road, what do you mean? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm talking shit, but <laughs> I need to eat better myself, man. I love Brazilian food. That's okay. what I love. Yeah. Like, when I was in Mex Mexico for Triple Mania, I didn't eat no tacos and all that. I looked up Brazilian spots <laughs> and I went and took an Uber over there. Well, I landed here with my dad. We're going to the Astros. Game yeah, twenty second one, yeah, right? It's very exciting. That's wild. And we're like, we didn't have a ton of time before you were coming to the hotel, so we just ordered pizza. Which Hell is yeah, off camera. Man, I, I hope I never eat pizza again. Why? Uh, I, like, so I've how, been. How dare you? Nah, look, look. So I've always been really good with what I'm eating. I haven't eaten that in like a long time. And then the UFC, some whatever one was in June. Um, I forgot what big fight was happening. But either way, I was watching it, and I'm like, man, I'm going to order a pizza. I haven't eaten bad. I ate the whole damn thing. And then that night, I threw it all up. thought I was going to die. What? I don't want to ever eat it again now. Wow. Yeah. I, that and nachos. I don't want to eat nachos no more neither. wrong? I, I ate those in Mexico at the airport. and But it was at this nice restaurant. Huh. And then I got, like, food poisoning. And I was right. That was, so I was back home throwing up. The next day, I got on a flight and go to Canada. So the, you're done with them? I hope. But you know, never say never. It's just it's it's tough to eat on the road. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, now that I got this uh C W money, maybe I can eat better. <laughs> we'll see. Uh well I want to thank you again for coming here. Man, you're always welcome, dude. It was the pleasure was always yours. Okay. <laughs> what a dick. Huh? Yeah. I'm just kidding. But, well, nah, honestly, I do appreciate you having me on here, man. No, and thank yeah. you. I, I appreciate I, I reached out to you and said I'm gonna be in Houston. Yeah. I kinda took a chance and said, Are you gonna be here? Because Booker T's not in town. So no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't even wrestle for him. I only wrestled for him back in like two thousand ten and that's it. I was uh so I was like, you know, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh thank you for taking the time and We'll put it down there. Uh, well, this will just be a link this time. Yeah, just the link. Just the link. Just the link. It's, it's we don't want to add more edits for you to do. <laughs> uh, if you want to get the cool shirt, he's wearing SammyGavard.com. Modeling up. Should, That's should right. Should I do the pack pop? Yeah, do it. Oh, snap. Look at that. The shirt gave him that power. That's right. It can give you that power, Man, too. Man, this shirt's so hot. It's like on fire. Hey, dude, literally. Man. Oh, my God. Oh, let me see. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking out this chat with Sammy Guevara. That was a fun interview. Uh, we mentioned it many times during the interview, but if you haven't already, uh, the link is below so you can subscribe to Sammy's channel. You can also subscribe to my channel. And I'm not, I'm not just here in Houston for fun, although this is a, a fun city. It's a fun state to be here in Texas. My dad and I have a tradition. If you watched my last interview with Melissa Santos, I talked about it. My dad and I have a tradition. We go to a different Major League Baseball stadium every single year this we're here at minute Maid park if you couldn't tell by the seats here and also by the field there my dad's here here he is the man himself 
DVV, Dirk, Van, Fleet. He's not really an Astros fan. He's just, he's just wearing the shirt. Um, so we've been doing this every single year. Dad, the people are gonna ask, so what's been your favorite stadium so far? Toss up between Wrigley and Fenway. Okay, Wrigley or Fenway. So everybody who's in Chicago or Boston, uh, you're now big fans of DVV, Dirk Van Fleet. Uh, thank you for checking out this interview. We're one week away now, less than a week away, from All Out, if you're gonna be in Chicago for All Out, uh, I'd love to uh, give you a high five and uh, say thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing because because I know if you're watching this, you are subscribed. So thank you. Uh, anything you wanna add, Dad? Nope. Dad, tell him to subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, because my dad said so. You guys think we look alike? You tell me. You say no?